Hello, this is Dave. I got my second um, degaussing coil. I won an auction on eBay and I bought a coil that looked similar to um, my Olsen coil. And uh, when I got it, it's actually um, the coil measures uh, identically in size. Um, the coil, the eBay coil, actually I believe is older uh, than the one I purchased in 1970. Uh, although it was brand new in the box, the uh, the top coil is the uh, eBay one, and that was made in the USA. And then the one underneath it is my original Olsen that was made in Japan. But uh, they appear to be almost identical. Uh, the material that's housing the coil is somewhat different. Uh, I may be able to take this uh, this one apart. It just seems to have the plastic uh, melted and I may be able to separate the two sections. Take a look inside. But uh, what I've done is stack the coils and uh, just run them in parallel. And I'm using my function generator it's a uh, it's an older Beckman uh, circuit mate. It's operating uh, with square wave at around 20. Looks like 20 hertz. 20 hertz. And there's a neo magnet spinning on its edge. And it doesn't require any assistance from the Bedini circuit whatsoever. It's just strictly the uh, square wave. Uh, by stacking these coils in phase, keeping them in phase and putting them in parallel, it intensifies that field in the center uh, tremendously. So I do not even have to run the uh, generator at full output. And... It's been spinning down here for an hour, so it's definitely not slowing down. It's, it's being influenced by the uh, function generator. So I just thought I would share that. I'll probably be doing some other experiments with uh, these dual coils. But uh, yeah, I can change the frequency on this and get some the magnet. Uh, seems to be very happy at 20 hertz for whatever reason. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. So long.